It's James Steinhubel, TVU, and we're on the Sports Channel, and we have Spencer Love, Sherpa Park Crusaders. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me, my friend. It's nice to have something to do outside of uh, twiddling my thumbs in this weird time for everybody. Exactly, exactly. Marketing and Media Director, Sherwood Park Crusaders. You've been there for five years. So you've, you seen, you've seen two and a half complete cycles of talent coming through there. And uh, you've seen a lot of growth in um, online media and, you know, interconnectedness with the whole hockey world so yeah. you're, you're sitting in the catbird seat you know we got uh we got we got covid what how what tell me where are you guys at what are you thinking well to be honest with you a lot of it is a bit of a waiting game right now for me a lot of my job is to be prepared for a couple of months ahead anyway so as we were heading into the playoffs a lot of my stuff was yes prepare for playoffs but make sure that we're on the up and up as far as our future sponsorships game day events that sort of stuff for the 2020 slash 2021 season so we got shut down. It was May, I, or May, uh, March 11th that we found out that the playoffs were going to be postponed. That was two days before our uh, our first playoff game. And then the 12th, we found out that the playoffs were canceled. So literally since then, it's been a bit of a holding pattern because obviously, like every industry, we don't really have an idea when this is going to end, if our season's going to start on time. Um, so for me, it's just, I've always found be over-prepared. And the nice thing, at least with this is I've got the opportunity to get as over-prepared as humanly possible for next year. Okay. So you're part of a, you know, a dynamic winning, successful, uh, hockey brand, but hockey organization. So yeah. where, where's the muster point for you guys right now as a, as an executive leadership team with the Shirt Park Crusaders, Alberta Junior Hockey uh, League uh, yeah. top club for how, how are you guys mustering? Where's the recovery point? Where are you going forward with this? You know, like you mentioned, it's, uh, we're, we're a really, really lucky team with the people that we've got with us. You know, whether it's our general manager, our ownership, right down to our training staff and, and everybody in between. Um, we really are an organization rather than just a, a one-shot team, for lack of a better way to put it. So, yeah, we were the number one team in the country this year, which is something that we're very, very proud of. But everybody even going into this season where we thought and knew we were going to be good, um, we knew that next year there was going to be pressure to be good as well and the year after that and the year after that. So give all the credit in the world to Kyle Chase, Adam Manna, the rest of our coaching and training staff. They do an incredible job every year of going out and recruiting high-end players and, and high-end people, which I think has been really, really important as far as the success of our organization goes. So next season, you know, every team loses players. We're going to lose a couple that are very, very good players to say the least. Um, but we're also very confident in the kids we've recruited for next season. So I think it'll be a great year. And I think we're going to be able to say that for years to come, which is a nice thing to be able to do. You know, let's talk about what you do with, with the club. You know, your uh, your multi-channel social media media mix. You know, you're you're active and you're good at it. You know, where'd you learn this? Where'd you learn all this? Uh, Nate, I will 100% give credit to Nate as far as that goes. I started school there. Admittedly, when I first started, it was 2012 or 2013, I think. And to be honest with you, I more went into school at that time because I felt the pressure to get into school rather than really feel out what I wanted to do. So I went to business school for a year, wasn't really my thing. I actually went and tried culinary for a few years, really loved that until I really didn't, and then got back into the business world. So once I sort of made the decision to hop in for my own reasons, I loved it. And once I got into the marketing stream specifically, they do such a great job at Nate. I had such great instructors there. They really, really fostered a passion, not just with me, but I feel like anybody that I talked to that graduated with me, like they really focused on getting you into where you wanted to go. So uh, while I was there, actually, I applied for the Crusaders through the STEP grant because Nate offers up, they do a newsletter and, and send out job opportunities and all of that. Crusaders were in there and I've always wanted to work in sports. So as soon as I could get a resume revised, it was in. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So here you are, you know, you are a, um, you know, you're, you're the top uh, sports franchise um, mm -hmm. in uh, Sherwood Park pretty much right um there's other great ones but i mean in terms of brand and positioning and uh, community influence so yeah. you're going forward you know we're you know we got it we're, we, are, we are where we're at you know yeah. what are you doing with the brand you know when it comes to youth and families and seniors and business what are you up to it's huge for us you know a, a lot of our audience whether it's it's a regular game day or whether it's one that we go out and literally paper schools or whatever it may be 
audience, uh, our audience is huge into younger families, you know, Sherwood Park being what it is. Um, we've got a ton of elementary and junior high schools out there, even as far as high schools. I think we've got four or five at this point. Um, we want to be bringing out youth as much as possible. When I was a kid, the Sherwood Park Crusaders were my first impact as far as hockey went, you know, even before the Oilers, even before, obviously, the Oil Kings were a uh, uh, far memory from that point. But um, the Crusaders were my first impact. I tell the story often, but like literally the first memory I have of hockey is sitting behind the Crusaders bench and Shannon Sabato throwing Starburst up to my friends and I. So it was huge for me. And the more that we get out and get into schools and, and get into the community organizations, like we've got a very, very close relationship with the Kings Club and the SPMHA, the more we can be getting youth hockey players out and, and youth in general um, impacted by the Sherwood Park Crusaders, the better for us. And once the kids come out, for the most part, they're, they've got to be supervised. So the parents come out, they're the ones who will pay the tickets, they're tired of the yelling by the end of the second period because the kids just bring such enthusiasm to it. But yeah, you're going to head up to the bar and grab an alley cat just to settle down a little bit. <laughs> so the more we can be bringing families in and really branding ourselves as a community organization, I think that a lot of people look at the team and say, well, you're so close to the Oilers and the Oil Kings, it's got to be a bit of a, a bit of a drain on your attendance. And it is admittedly, you know, if the Oilers are playing the Flames on a Friday night, there's no better draw in hockey, nonetheless hockey in Edmonton. But they're very, very good at being in Edmonton and supporting us in Sherwood Park. And I've really taken it upon ourselves and, and we as an organization of being Sherwood Park's team. Excellent. So, you know, there's a lot of ways for uh, businesses and organizations to uh, get involved with the Crusaders. You know, um, tell us, what can we do as business people to uh, jump in and get our brands and logos, uh, you know, partnered with such a, you know, a, you know, a spirit of victory. Yeah. Um, I handle all the sponsorship options as far as that goes. Anything that you physically see inside the Sherwood park arena, we've got the opportunity to sell. The County has been absolutely amazing as far as giving us the opportunity to go out, sell that. That's one of the major money drivers as far as the Sherwood park crusaders go. We're a not-for-profit organization. Everything really does come from sponsorship and then obviously your individual ticket sales, season tickets and that sort of thing. So, um, literally anything you see, whether it be rink boards, any banners in there, any signage on the suites, we've got lit signs and, you know, who's it's and what's it's galore to paraphrase the, the little mermaid, you know, but that's a huge money driver for us. And then obviously anytime anybody comes out and supports and comes out and watches a hockey game, whether it's one time, whether they're season ticket holders, it is absolutely huge for us, both on the financial side and then talking to anybody on the team, you know, nobody wants to go to any sporting event when you have proverbial dress like a seat night. When you've got a full arena, you've got some enthusiasm in there, the fans are excited, the players are excited. I think it's all cyclical at that point. Everybody, when everybody's excited and all pulling the rope the same way, everybody benefits. What do you got for uh, sweets? Well, you know, <laughs> we actually do have a corporate suite. We uh, we offer that up. Unfortunately, um, just with the way that the arena is set up, there's not a lot of room for us to make any additions as far as that goes. But we do have a corporate suite that we rent out. All of our sponsors do get first right of refusal on that. But like, we've hosted birthday parties there. Last year in the playoffs, a couple of the Oilers actually uh, came out and utilized it for a game. Connor McDavid, Ty Ratty came out. Uh, Jujar Kyra and Matt Benning, who obviously Michael played for us uh, for the past two seasons, his younger brother. So we got that. And then over in the other side, we do have a full service lounge. We're proudly sponsored by Alley Cat. They supply most of our beer in there. Again, you know, we talk about supporting a local organization in the Crusaders. I think the least we can do is put our money where our mouth is and, and support local as well. So if a, a business wanted like spokespeople and involve the Crusaders in their marketing plan, is there, is there a way to do that? Absolutely. We try and do everything that we possibly can for anybody who wants to be involved in us. And I, I know that's such a blanket statement, but we really pride ourselves on being that community organization. If, for example, we've gone out, we hosted with Avila uh, Homes a couple of years ago, it was called Hockey Homes and Hot Dogs. And we came out and hosted a street hockey tournament at some of their show homes just so that we could have uh, something to entertain the children while the parents went in and looked at the houses, all of that. You know, we've gone out to block parties with the players again, play street hockey. We're out in schools all of the time. We've done up commercials for some of our sponsors, you know, any way that we think that, or not even us, but any way that our, our sponsors in our community thinks that we can be utilized to their advantage. You know, obviously there's limitations, you know, we're 16 to 20 years old. It's very hard for us to be advertising um, any sort of alcohol sales or stuff like that. Right. But um, anywhere we can support, we want to support. 
So can can we get ads on the on the uh, streaming? Uh, tell us about the streaming games. That's very exciting. You're very high tech. Oh, You're leading edge there. Well, yeah, and you know the AJHL as a whole has done a really really good job. We're all uh, we're all produced through a system, excuse me, called Hockey TV. So um, it's a paywalled system. I believe it's twenty or twenty one dollars a month. But that gives you access not just to the AJHL but the entirety of pretty well junior hockey worldwide. It's an absolutely outstanding system. Um, and then as far as we go over the last few years. Um, not just myself, but Liam Horobin, who assists me with the social media, and then our broadcast team, Brendan Escott, Zach Marks, and, and Dave Dawson, they've really, really taken it upon themselves to, to really push forward. We want to make sure that we've got a premier product wherever you are, whether it's our in-game announcing or, like you mentioned, with the streaming service. So over the last few years, we've really gone out. We've, if you listen to them, by my money, they're the best broadcast team in, in junior hockey, in my opinion. Um, our video is getting better and better every year. We're making a big investment in that again this season. And absolutely, once once people like they start to see what we can do, people do get interested in that. It's cool to see your logo on on TV during a hockey game, right? So, so advertise do that. Pe businesses can get on there and advertise. Absolutely, we can run commercials, Fantastic. and and it is a little bit more limited, obviously, than the NHL. There's only one commercial break per period, but other than that, yeah, we can do up commercials, we can do live liners, we can do all of that sort of stuff. Even on the social media end, you know, they've done a really great job of doing a pregame and a postgame show, highlighting interviews with our players, and any of that wherever we can put a logo or a sponsorship or a message from a brand or company. I'm happy to make it work. Fantastic. Okay, so I got one last thing, and then I'll let you go. Absolutely. Who, who are who are we saying goodbye to, and what are we hoping good for them, and and who's from Sherwood Park coming up that we can cheer for? <laughs> well, we're actually really lucky with our team that not only are we we attracting players from Sherwood Park, but we're attracting players from international. Um, um, opportunities you know last season we had a player named Brennan McDonald who's coming back this year he was from Auburndale Florida which is unbelievable that not only is our name out there but people are attracted enough to it that they want to come play here um, next season you know we're losing a lot of players we really wanted to make a push this year but uh, next season we're losing out on our 620 year olds our captain Arjun Atwal will be taking off uh, Max Woodski will be taking off for example um, I believe we're losing 10 players total if my math is correct on that um, Carter Guylander, who was drafted by the Detroit Red Wings last season, he'll be taking off this year for uh, Colgate University. Michael Benning and Carter Savoy, as well as Reed Irwin, they're heading down to Denver. Um, Carter and Michael are looking to be draft picks in the NHL draft this year. Like, there's there's a lot of players we're losing this season. But Where's our captain going? Where's our captain going? <laughs> Arjun is still uh, – he's had interest from pretty well every school in Canada, to be honest with you, as, oh, dope. as far dope. as I've heard. Um, he played in the WHL for a couple of years, so the way that it works is he's unable to go down on, on an NCAA scholarship. Mm -hmm. But pretty well every school in Canada, he was the first player since, I think, 1992, as far as Crusaders go, to score 100 points points in a season he's league MVP like the, the the accolades list is longer than the screen I can give you right now he's he, he, he's good. he's gonna battle his way to the big show I believe he's in such a great human being he's actually the last player with the Crusaders that uh was with the team in my inaugural year so next year it's gonna okay. be all new individuals for me again but who, who, are, um, who are the park boys? Who are the park boys? You know, I'm a, I'm a, home, I'm a home hometowner. <laughs> well, we can't tip our hand too early. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I, I know you, that you. Uh, I know that there's a lot of teams in the league. Obviously, you know the reputation of Sherwood Park just as far as a hockey community goes. There are such incredible athletes to come from this uh, this county. We're incredibly lucky to be a part of it. So the more that we can keep our hands close to ourselves as far as our recruiting goes, the better. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Spencer Love, uh, Marketing and Media Director. Shirt Park Crusaders. We're going to catch up with you next time. That was fun. Thanks, sir. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure.